Russia's serious unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, a reconnaissance strike drone somewhat comparable to the US's MQ-9 Reaper, was recently spotted undergoing flight tests, indicating the stalled project is being revived. Experts have long pointed out how Russia was missing a medium-high altitude long-endurance class combat drone to have been able to attain a significant number of battlefield goals. Also called the Inokitats Ru, it has been developed by the St. Petersburg-based Kronstadt Group. The reconnaissance and strike drone Sirius is a further development of the Orion UAVs and is powered by two turboprop engines, unlike the Reaper's single power plant, with a claimed flight duration of approximately 20 hours. The maximum height is 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet, with a cruising speed of 180 kilometers per hour and a range of 3,000 kilometers, according to Sergei Saravakin, who was quoted on many Russian telegram groups. Also, various sources claim that this UAV would be equipped with its own satellite communication system. The Sirius can carry a total ordnance payload of 300 kilograms to 400 kilograms. At the Army 2020 Forum, it was displayed with a range of weapons like guided aerial bombs FAB-100 and CAB-100, AFAB-250. Some Russian defense bloggers claim the range of weapons also includes guided and unguided air-to-surface missiles, we will definitely see Vikra-1 under its wing. How the Sirius might be used in Ukraine and how such platforms benefit Russian operations can be gauged from how American UAVs like MQ-9 Reaper and the RQ-4B Global Hawk help Ukraine. Thus, the permanent presence of a heavy-class drone with powerful sensors with continuous monitoring of Ukrainian ground movements safely from within Russian airspace hands a lot of options to Russian military planners. The data that will also be shared with Russian ground assets along with aerial platforms like the Su-34, Su-35, and Su-30 can be used in a variety of ways. It can be used purely to strengthen defense where any change in Ukrainian ground maneuvers can be rapidly responded to, checkmating even highly coordinated powerful counterattacks. Or, being strike platforms themselves that carry glide bombs, a serious drone can also destroy targets after identifying them without having to rely on ground or air assets. But interestingly, it can work in tandem with the latter as well, as reports from August 2022 said that Russia had tested both Orion and Sirius as a part of a reconnaissance and strike circuit with manned aircraft. With a satellite receiver that enhances its range, this greatly amplifies the capability of both the drone and the manned jets like the Su-35s or Su-30s. With the help of a data link, the fighter bombers can completely outsource the ground surveillance task to the drones, easing their aerial scanning and weapons engagement tasks. The drones on board guided and unguided munitions can act as an extended payload. It is also possible that Su-35 fighters, carrying the KH-31 anti-radiation missile arm for destruction of enemy air defense missiles dead, missions, might send the Sirius to cross into Ukrainian territory and bait S-300 or Buck Sam radars into lighting up. Meanwhile, the onboard synthetic aperture radar SAR, can detect moving targets and enemy activity on the ground through thick cloud cover and poor visibility. But Russia seems to be cautiously using them as production is still to scale up. 
the drone platform itself isn't expendable, and Russia cannot afford it to be shot down. Comments on Russian social media groups say the system's introduction was long overdue and it should have been made available yesterday. Such class of drones are not enough in the armed forces, and we hope the modern defense enterprises have overcome their problems to finally begin serial production," said one post. The serious medium altitude long endurance male attack UA from Kronstadt is touted to be the biggest Russian drone with a wingspan of 30 meters. It is intended to support the surveillance missions of the borders and the Russian exclusive economic zone ease, in the Arctic and the Pacific. The long-range reconnaissance and attack drone will have a length of 9 meters and a height of 3.3 meters. It will also feature a satellite communications complex, allowing it to perform long-range reconnaissance and combat missions. The drone will have the capacity to carry a maximum combat load of 450 kilograms, allowing it to carry guided bombs or air-to-ground missiles. It will cruise at a speed of 295 kilometers per hour and fly at an altitude of 12,000 meters. The endurance of the Sirius U of with full payload will be 40 hours. According to information published by TASS on February 7, 2022, the Sirius strike drone upgraded for the Russian Navy will be capable of operating as a search and rescue and reconnaissance vehicle. It was earlier reported that the serial deliveries of the latest Sirius drones to the Russian troops would begin in 2023. The Sirius, the Inokadets Ru experimental design work, is a follow-up of the project of Orion drones. The Inokadets Ru is outfitted with two engines, has an increased takeoff weight, and can carry a bigger payload. The drone is expected to make its debut flight in May 2022. The Sirius will be serial produced at the first special production facility built by Kronstadt in Dubna near Moscow for the manufacture of large-size unmanned aerial vehicles. Sirius is a medium-altitude long-endurance, male, attack UA, with a wingspan of 30 meters, length of 9 meters and height of 3.3 meters, a maximum combat load of 450 kilograms, cruise speed of 295 kilometers per hour, maximum altitude 12,000 meters, and an endurance of 40 hours.